It is July 21st, 2015, and uh, we have a cold front that'll be dancing over Kansas for a day or two, and maybe some moisture from Southern California. So um, if we can get rain once a week, uh, it uh, helps the backgrounding for cattle, the soybean crop, corn, and um, the pasturage. So we're looking forward to a little bit of rain here, plus it'll keep the humidity up when the 100 degree weather returns again at the end of the week. It is summertime and uh, we should expect these high temperatures. Come January or February uh, we'll look back on the summer and uh, with a little bit of nostalgia and remember how much fun it was to uh, wander around in shorts and t-shirts and sandals. So here we are. What do we look, for, look at today? Um, there is no news overnight to speak of. There is no news on tap for this morning. And that generally yields a trading range. Uh, the bias in financials or treasuries is for lower prices. Uh, we definitely have a seller at 8. Uh, this morning the selling starts at 26. So I'd like to sell this 31 to 03 area, uh, depending on what happens on this rotation down here. Uh, if this B low comes out, we may have to lower our sales to the 27 area. Don't know. So we'll put a question mark by 27. On the buy side, because we are pointed lower, uh, the market uh, news-wise is under pressure with the Fed's intent or trial balloons saying we will be raising interest rates uh, uh, this fall. Uh, Bullard says 50-50, uh, better than 50-50 this September. I think September is a little tough because of the budgeting process, but uh, um, after September, it's anybody's guess. So we'll make a buy 17 to 21 to get started and 9 to 13 for our number two level. And um, if we can build volume below this high volume number here at 28, uh, that should help propel the market lower too. Uh, the next sell will be at, uh, we'll open it up, we'll make it 7 to 11 for sell 2. And our 31 to 03 for sell 1. No news to drive this morning's trading. Okay, it is an option play this week. Uh, options come off the board this Friday. Uh, most of the large institutions will be out of those positions Thursday by Thursday's close. Uh, 125.16 to 126.16 is where the option play has lined up uh, this week for the 10 year. For the 30 year, it's 150 to 152. Uh, and the knob spread started came in yesterday. It's lower still uh, in the overnight. So we have a shot if uh, the selling continues uh, for you know a two point range. So 152.05 uh, the bottom side would be 150.05. Might be pretty hard to get there. Yesterday we traded uh, just about a point. But a full point 32 ticks is where this market is. So when you come and look at this market structurally, we've got this 150.30 right here. Uh, we've got 150.04.05 um, as it stands right now. Uh, we are lower, so we'll, it looks like we're pointing lower, so we'll make 150.01, 150.29 by 1. And then we've got uh, this last rotate down was 17. We'll make it 17 to 21 for buy 2. Now, I'm going to put a question mark at 05. Uh, that, that could be our buy. I don't know just yet, just the way the market's off quite a bit uh, from the overnight session. Well, <clears throat> and we have a couple of distributions lower. So sometimes X or W will, uh, especially if it comes in the overnight session, and we've had selling all night long, quite often that'll. Uh, put a floor or foundation on the market. On the uh, sell side, uh, last rotate up stopped at 19, so we'll make, this is tight, it's close, but it's where resistance should be, 15 to 19, sell 1, and then 27 to 31, sell 2. Uh, we definitely have a seller above 5204, 
Uh, the buying has been below 51.08. Uh, so I think we can go a little bit lower, but I don't think uh, the bottom falls out of the market. The option play I said is 150 uh, for support and 152 for resistance. Going into option expiration this Friday. Okay, gold, uh, when, a, when a market gets hammered like gold did, it doesn't recover quickly without a change in news. There is no news. Uh, we've talked about why is gold selling for a long time. And we I've always thrown out there the idea that it might be deflation, pure and simple. So right now, when you just look at this market structurally, you can see that support really starts at 1100 uh, We had this late selling yesterday that took us down to what 94 so 95 to 1100 is pretty good support and uh, resistance uh, last rotate up yesterday well, the opening was bounded by 113 even then the last rotate up yet last yesterday afternoon was in the 1109 area so we'll make 9 to 11 sell one it's close it'll allow them to get stops above the overnight session and then we'll make uh, 14 to 16 sell 2. 1100, 1102 buy 1. And 95 to 97 buy 2. Now, we've talked about a lot for a long time that the bias or the direction of gold was lower. I, and again, we didn't have a very good reason that we could point out to. There are a lot of reasons. Uh, large central bank uh, intervention manipulation to show people that uh, there was no inflation would be at the certainly close to the top of the list. But uh, overall deflation. Now that's hard, to, that's hard to see deflation at the supermarket and the gas station these days. But Iran has come back um, onto the market. Uh, their oil will be freely marketed these days and that could change things and uh, my friends down in Houston for a long time have been watching the uh, Iranian um, US negotiations saying that Iranian oil is coming back onto the market and uh, they've been right about that <coughs> uh, they, they figured that um, the US would uh, capitulate and give Iran pretty much everything they wanted and the United States did. You know the worst thing about that entire deal and it is a very very it's a, it's a game changer is that Iran got their nuclear scientists back plus access to all that cash and we didn't get any one of our four hostages back and that just shows you the mindset that you, you deal with you know numbers people uh, Etc. It just doesn't play. It played for the Iranians. It didn't play for for our negotiators, and they they got their man back. Okay, uh, right now stops above the London high. I think we can go higher. Uh, we've got enough volume in this congestion area to take us a little bit higher. I don't think we can break it out. So last rotate up yesterday stopped at 51.10. Uh, so we'll make 50.75 sell one, and then we'll make 51.50.75 sell two. I think if we get through 50. One, this market's going to rally, and uh, we'll go back and get stops well above the market. So, 5075, 51, sell one, 50, 150, 75, sell two. On the buy side, 4975, 50, in a play for them to get stops below 50, then 49 and a quarter, 4950. Okay, at 4 a.m. this morning, the euro had a big jump. Don't know what caused it. Didn't see anything on the news as I was scanning all the different news sources. Uh, so 
right there's the rally that took us up so where might selling be well we got this 109 and a quarter which is a pretty clean break in the market there's a d period high you got a london high at 915 uh, we have the round number 109 so our first sell thinking that they might go higher is going to be 109 plus or minus five and then our second sell is going to be the 20 to 30 area. A lot of good stops above 25. On the buy side, the breakout came from 42, so 40 to 50, 45 to 55 will be buy one. Just off the structure, we're going to pick this up right here. And then 108 even. If we start to come down, I think they'll go for stops. 108.10 for buy two. Uh, the story out of Europe is that it'll take three to four weeks to negotiate all the details of the Greek deal. I, I, I mean, think about what this is uh, going to do to the Greek economy. Higher taxes, um, more restrictions on business and the rest of it. It'll... it'll uh, hurt things and there were some articles out that uh, businesses that can move out of Greece and no longer domicile there will move out of Greece so I mean this thing will just kind of compound and feed on itself well you know it, when these rules and regulations are put in there's always unintended consequences and you really don't know what they are uh, when you put them in and um, like the uh, Dodd-Frank bill has really taken away most of the liquidity in the bond markets and we get these flash crashes that they talk about. Uh, there just is no liquidity. And we see it in the E-mini. There is no short side of the market. The E-mini is not allowed to sell. It'll sell for a day, day or two, but it's not going to sell for much more than that because the Fed or somebody will step in and buy it. Volume is moving higher in the distribution. So we've got a seller at 25. That is resistance. So just like yesterday, our sell is 24 to 26. And then we'll make it 29 to 31. Now, I don't think we can break this market out today uh, without a big piece of news. And I don't think there is news forthcoming today. So uh, we'll make 25 to 17 just where we were yesterday. Buy one. We'll play for a trading range. And we'll make 10 to 12 for buy two. Okay, we've got a B pattern in the overnight. If the market starts to sell, uh, we've got to be quick on the trigger to the short side. Uh, you can see we have the attractor right down here at 14, 1415. That's where the high volume number is. So a resting limit buy against 15, leaning against this high volume area. If you have, want a resting limit buy, that's a good place to put it. Okay, it'll take a while to get everything up and done. I'm going to get busy on that right now. I'll be back with you as soon as possible. Uh, no later than on the hour for Mr. Rossner in New York. And uh, we'll pick it up from there later.